Hi guys, this is PC Oli2509 how um showing you how to make a pocket tank. It's a very small tank basically out of um a Lego PF controller, IR receiver, batch box and two XL motors. So, let's get started. First of all, you need to do um attach the XL motor to a long Technic piece with three pegs there and put two pegs on top there. do that twice with both the XL motors next you need to get the battery box and put two pegs on either side do that on both sides of the battery box then you need to get the um, get two seven by one um technic pieces put those in the center of the battery box both on one side like that then get your xl motors and put them so they're like that so there's a bit sticking out the end and do do that so they're both facing opposite ways so there's a bit sticking out there and a bit sticking out there. Next you need to make a support here because this at the moment is a bit it's not very sturdy. So you need some three by seven three by ones, some double connector pieces, like that, and some normal connector pieces. So you need to put the normal connector piece like that, then a double connector piece through the middle, so like that. Then get the um, another double connector piece, put that in that hole there. There should only be one free hole that you can put it through. Then put the next three by one Technic piece on top, and add the another double um, connector in the free hole. Keep doing that until you've used up all seven three by one technique pieces. So I'll just quickly do that. Yeah, so just always put it in the free hole. And then once you've put all seven in a line like that. There should only be one connector at the other end and then put a no another the other normal connector in that free hole. So it should look like that. Then put that in the center in between here. Like there. there. So now it's a bit more sturdy. In the middle. Next, turn the battery box over, and you need to put the IR receiver um, on one of the two things up at the top. Next, for the tracks, we need um, you need four cogs. If you've got the old style tracks, if you've got the new style tracks, then you need those pieces that. Um, hold the tracks onto the vehicle. Don't know what they're called but yeah. I don't have the new tracks, I only have the old style ones. So you need four um of the connector pieces and then two of those which are like a size free grey um axle with a stud on the end. Put that through the centre of the um cog slash Thing that holds the tracks on, and then put that into the motor. So it should spin round, and you will hear the motor whirring. Do that again for the other one. There, so like that. Next, get two more cogs slash pieces, um, and put a beige connector thing. Through the centre, 
Now, you might have to change that if you have the new style tracks. Then put that one hole away from the end. So it should be like that. Do the same on the other side. There, like so. There. Now, if you look at the um, r remote control, look for the so the right hand track is the blue. So now you need to connect the right hand track onto the blue and connect the IR receiver onto the battery box. And then connect the left hand track onto the red, obviously. Then put the tracks on. Make put them on so that um there's a bit of slack in the tracks. Not too much though, because otherwise they'll fall off. But just a bit so that they can go over bumps, basically. Oh, my tracks got stuck there. Just put it back on quickly. There we go, and we'll put the other side on. If there's any wires in the way, just tuck them um, underneath something. So they're not touching the tracks, so the tracks should run freely. So that's the um, tank, and you can add a little gun. I've just made a little quick one. It's just a little simple gun two pieces but it means that it can twist like that and then I just fix that on to here that means it can do that not powered by a motor obviously so yeah I'll just show you it driving Yeah, that's it really. It's quite manoeuvrable. Thanks for watching. Bye.